So, you're this close to smashing your computer because for the life of you, you cannot figure out how the hell to route out your DAW clearly to your OBS. Well, calm down because you're in the right place. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm excited to bring to you one of the channel's very first tutorial videos. Now, there is a lot of talk happening about streaming and how to do it and how to go live. Everybody's quarantined. Everybody's trying to play on Facebook, on 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 YouTube, on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of people can't figure out how. I've seen a crap load of videos out there that are like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, even an hour long to explain just a couple of simple things that I needed. Also, a load of posts and articles just ah, is way too much. So I decided to do this. Get the, you know, the cream of the crop to summarize everything for you. I'm doing you guys a favor, man. God damn it. So after research, after looking at endless videos and endless forums, I'm here to do road to streaming in under five minutes. And that's going to be a challenge. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to put timestamps, probably most likely, to where you need to go. I'm going to keep this very simplified into steps and we're not going to get technical. I'm not going to explain much of what I'm doing. I just want to get you on the road to streaming. Now, there's going to be a second video that I'll be posting, which it will be more, much more in depth detail about the steps that I'm about to tell you. If you have questions about these steps, do put them in the comments below. And the most frequently asked one, I will most likely make a separate uh, in-depth video about it. But for now, let's just shut up and stop the ranting and just get to the point, dude, right? Here we go. Step number one, download this link below and patch it. Download patcher 32 and 64 bit just in case. Before you do, stop and read the post because it is emotional. The person who made this software passed away and this software was paid to activate. After he passed away, his nephew took on and he made this software free for all. So thank you. Go pay your tribute because this man did a great thing for all of us out there. Step number two, you're going to go into your DAW, in this case, Reaper. You're going to click on options, go on preferences, and you're going to select ASIO Pro Link, and you're going to click OK. The moment you click OK, your playback device on your desktop might and most likely will change into something called speaker one or two. Make sure you put it back to your playback device so you can avoid any problems with recording. Notice that I didn't address the elephant in the room, which is this extremely intimidating looking platform that just popped up with all these numbers and arrows and, uh, and you look like you're about to do to do a sound check for like an Amon and Marth concert. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Don't touch it. Don't be a smart ass and try to manipulate it. There's a lot of information behind that that I'm not going to share because remember, this is a quick tutorial. Step number three, you're going to input a track and then you're going to insert your own effects. In my case, I'll be putting in a guitar plugin and I'm using for my interface. I have a Scarlett 2i4, two input jack. Input one is for my guitar. Input number two is for my mic. Now, you're going to arm that track and you're going to monitor it. If everything goes correctly, strum that guitar or play that instrument. And it should be picking up on this crazy weird looking platform as a green indicator level, which is that means you're on the right track. If you're not getting signal from whatever instrument you plugged in, you did something wrong. Please rewind the video and watch it again. Guess what comes next? Oh, you guys are so smart. Step number five. Gotcha. Step number four. We're going to hop onto OBS and we will insert an audio input capture track. Now you're going to go to the little settings button. You're going to go to properties and you're going to select Mix 01 Osio Pro driver, blah, 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 whatever as your device. No questions asked. Just do it. Just do it, bro. Just do it. Trust me. Just do it. So if everything is going well so far, after you have inputted that track, you should be playing your guitar armed through your DAW with the effects chain that's on it, and it should be emitting sound into the OBS audio input capture track that you just put in. If that don't light up, then you've done something wrong. Please move on the video and do it again. You'll get there. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Now you can just endlessly input tracks with whatever effects and plugins you want in there. And whatever you play back, will play back live out of OBS. So in my case, for example, I can put uh, an Easy Drummer track in there to play drums. And I don't even need to paste the drums into the DAW itself. I can play it through the actual VST player. And I can have, uh, you know, I can record four guitars. I can... Uh, plug in a bass, everything, anything and everything. Think of this as whatever I do, this is a master bus being sent into OBS. With that, ladies and gentlemen, 
This is, in my opinion, the simplest way that I've found so far. There's three that I'll be posting about. This is how, in a nutshell, you can route your sound from your DAW into OBS, out into the world for millions of people to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video. If you like these type of videos, do let me know and I'll try my best to do more of these. I kind of like these straight to the point and just cut the crap, right? Now, here's a couple of very important things, bro. If you like this video and you want to subscribe, thanks, bro. If you like this video and you don't want to subscribe, thanks, bro. If you did not like this video and you want to subscribe, thanks, bro. If you did not like this video and you don't want to subscribe, thanks, bro. I still appreciate you as a person. I don't know why people are getting so sensitive about this subscribe and, and bell button thing. Like you see other channels. I don't know if you notice. Actually, 100%, I'm sure you have noticed people are like, they're trying to be vague about it and they don't want to confront you by saying, yo, subscribe. They're trying to be like very smart and vague about it. They're like, um, if you happen to like music production and tutorials, then you might want to consider to subscribing to this channel. But I'm just, they're like, so like, you know, like they f it feels like they're talking. They're so afraid to get to you to tell you, yo, if you like me, subscribe. But they're like, uh, I hope I'm not getting into your no, no zone, your comfort zone by saying, can you subscribe to me? Because I mean, if you like to like, dude, just shut up, just shut up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, don't, I'm still going to be putting out content so that's the first of many guys so i hope you like this type of video excuse me for the rant if you do like this video you might want to consider to subscribe <laughs> all guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one